But <laughs> recently I've seen that a lot of people have said that F122 is dead. Yeah, I prefer not to speak about that. But uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a career mode driving as Nick DeFries since he's going to be debuting, well, Technically, he's already debuted, but this is going to be like his proper debut season. Uh, we're going to drive as him and sort of see if we can do better than what he's actually going to do in real life. Right, I'm not going to lie. I actually can't remember what Nick DeFries looks like. So I'm going to have to quickly put up a picture. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. None of them look even remotely close to how, how Nick looks, in my personal opinion. You know what? He kind of... He kind of looks like Nick, right? No? Well, we're choosing him anyway. Uh, pretty sure Nick is Dutch. If he's not, then this will be very, very awkward. All right, here we go. First quality session of the season. And it has to be Bahrain. I hate Bahrain. But I don't think Nick will hate Bahrain, so we don't hate Bahrain. All right, here we go. First quality lap. See how we can do. Let's see where it puts us. I'm usually quite slow at this track, so I'm going to put, I'm gonna have to put in a quick shift. If I want to get into a decent position, but I hate turns one and turns two, but we get we get through it. You know what? The target for this season is to actually beat Sonoda. Because I don't think I don't think Nick's going to beat Sonoda in real life throughout the season. Maybe he will. If we can beat Sonoda here, then I feel like we would have done better than what Nick is probably going to do. Or should I say what we're going to do, since we are Nick. Yes sir, P3, but obviously most of the grid hasn't actually done their laps yet. As you can see, we're falling down straight away. Charles Leclerc goes quickest. We'll see where we end up when we get back into the pits. You know what? Respectable, P8 at the moment. Again, not everyone's done their laps though, to be fair. How far are we off Sonoda? I'm actually three taps off of Sonoda. That's not ideal. Yeah, it's the first two sectors. For the third sector, we're actually quicker. Uh, but these uh, first two sectors, we need to we need to pick it up. Yeah, damn, P15. Wait, how am I in P12? I could have sworn I was in P15 just now. Uh, there we go. I get just above the Noda with one lap to go. P10. I could have sworn we was in P15 when we started the lap. I'm so confused. All right, we're P12 just above Yuki. Because we're about to go to our final lap. I'm assuming the AI will improve, so we're going to need to try and improve as well. Oh, getting a ton of time there. Two attempts. Take that. Come on, this is a good lap. Oh, a moss. We go four attempts up. Where are we? P11. Okay. We'll take that. We'll take that as our first qualifying. But where's Sonoda though? He, he was behind me, so I assume he should hopefully still be there. <laughs> Look at that. We were 1,000th of a second quicker than Lando. Uh, but where's Sonoda? P15. We're actually four attempts quicker than him. That's, that's actually not that bad. We could be in for a good race here, actually. If we can get a good start and keep up the pace, points could be on and off. First race. Okay, well, uh, I hope... I'm hoping that I can actually keep up with the AI relatively well on the hard tires so that we can be on the medium stores end and actually be on the quicker tire. We'll see what happens. We'll just have to play it by ear, especially if a safety car comes out um, or something. But yeah, let's get started. Let's see how we can do our first race here as Nick DeFries. So we've got four or five red lights and lights out and away we go. I, I will never get the AI starts on this game, honestly. Alright, come on, let me round, let me round. Uh. I mean, that was a bad start on my part, definitely. Oh my god, who is that on my on my outside? Uh, Alex Albon, of course. Who else would it be? Are we going through wide? I guess we are. No, well, if you crash, that's all on you. I don't care. As long as I don't have damage. Oh, we're going to send it on Magnuson to try and get our position back. That was very unrealistic, but still, I wanted my position back. At least we maintain our position somewhat. No, we need to look behind because Magnuson's on our, on our bumper. And seeing as this, uh, seeing as uh, he's on the mediums, he's going to be looking for the overtake very, very soon. Now, I don't know what my pace is like in general on the hard, so it'll be... I'm basically hoping and praying right now that my pace on the hards is somewhat good compared to their pace on the mediums. Getting a ton of wheel spin as well, the hards don't feel too good. 
Here comes K Mike. Let's see. See, that's not really helping because I kind of wanted to stay in bot as a DRS. Well, for now, we're in the DRS, but with, I think I'm just going to lose it very, very quickly. So, unless I have an incredible good second sector, then yeah, we're probably going to lose DRS here. I mean, I'm going quicker in the second sector, and yet we're still just losing too much time. So, we're not going to. We're not going to be able to keep in his DRS. Oh, God, what a lap so far. We managed to actually get back in the DRS of Valtteri. Oh, fantastic. Can we actually stay here, though? We need to continually put laps in like this, though. The 32-6. That's not bad. Oh, we've lost a lot of time this lap. A few mistakes here and there. It's cost us quite big. I mean, so far, we're kind of managing to keep Magnussen behind, but with him having DRS, it's not going to be... For very long. Oh, we've got yellow flags. Is that a head? Please tell me it's a head. I can't see right now. Yeah, it is a head and it's one of the Mercedes. It's Lewis Hamilton. Rip. All right. Well, I was having a, a little nervous breakdown over Magnussen, but now that's changed. I still I'm having a nervous breakdown slowly, but it's over the McLarens, uh, they are catching, and they are catching very quickly. It's definitely going to be harder to keep the McLarens behind than it was K-Mag. Right, come on, I kind of need this. I kind of need this train up ahead to start battling just a little bit. So that I can keep up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We're so close to the ERS. I don't want to have to use my ERS to get into it, though. Oh, come on. I'm in the DRS zone when I have already crossed the line. Are you serious? We're going to have to go defensive here from Norris. Not bad, not bad of a defense. I'll take that. Push them back a little bit as well. All right, we're back on the defense, but this time instead of Norris, it's Ricardo. Seems as if the McLarens are swapping to see who can actually overtake me. Every time I pass the DRS line, I'm so close to being in DRS. I think we've got enough for me to just go on the normal line. I think this is the closest they've been. Is he going to go for it? He looked... He had a bit of a sniff. But we closed the door straight away. I'm not having that. Wait, did Sainz start on the sauce? Either that or he had an incident with Hamilton, but it looked like Hamilton was just a normal, like, retirement. Oh, Bottas is starting to drop off a little bit from the Alpines. Which is good news for me. It's also a sign that the mediums themselves are starting to drop drop off. Wait, you're kidding. I didn't get DRS across the line. We've less than one second. Oh, one thing I'm not liking is the fact that my fuel is has gone down pretty quickly. I thought I'd put enough in, but Apparently not. Looks like I might even need to lift and close for a little bit. See, it would have been nice if I was uh, in the DRS of a certain somebody. Yep, the mediums are definitely starting to drop off. Look at look at the fighting going on up, on up ahead and the fact that they're closer to me as well. Ooh, Alonso went three wide there. We're going to take the opportunity. Oh, yellow flag. Oh, did I knock into Alonso? I think I did. And we're going to send it on Bottas as well. No way! Did, how did we get past Bottas? <laughs> I thought the yellow flag came out way before then, but, but apparently not. We actually got past Bottas. Now you see, this is a tight situation here because I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pit. Ah, but this is gonna wear the medium so much. The safety car came out at the wrong time. Just a few laps too early, to be honest. Uh, we've, I've literally got no choice. I have to. I have to go on the mediums. Come on, boys, we need a good stop. Right, that was a, yeah, that was a good stop. That was a good stop. Managed to keep out of Bottas, too. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, uh, this safety car really helps in terms of fuel. It helps my fuel issue, but it doesn't help my tire issue. It really doesn't. I'm trying to nurse, I'm trying to nurse these mediums. For the safety car. I don't think I don't think this is gonna help though. We're gonna have to get extremely lucky here. Alright, at least the the least they could do is just 
Like, let me see what tires everyone's on. I think everyone except me is on hards. And I love how they said that Max is the championship leader. It's literally like race one. Okay, only 4%. It's not that bad, actually. Though our fuel, though. I guess we don't need to worry about the fuel. Come oh, on. I need to take full advantage of these mediums. Arkham's going defensive. We're going to go aggressive. Oh my god. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, Arkham, what are you doing? I don't care. We don't get a red flag. That's cool. <laughs> we somehow made it to P4. Oh no, who is that? Absolute send. Is it Sainz? No, it's Arkham. How is he going this bold? How is he just bold on hards? I don't understand why Mark wants me to come in in lap 20. I'm not doing that. You know what? I think I'll just let science go. Because he's obviously going to be quicker than me. Oh, that was a bit of a sketchy exit. But if we can somewhat keep up with science in his DRS, he's going to toss along, which means... Which means there's no way the guys behind us on the hard tires will keep up with us for now. Oh my god, he's so quick. I know there's a pace difference between the Ferrari and the Alfa Tauri, but this is this is nuts. Though to be fair, I think if I'm somewhat careful with the tires, I might make it with less. So I think there's no point in battling Perez here. Just whenever he gets past is whenever he gets past. Because I need to be pretty much in either like clean air or I mean the toll would help, but it would also also hurt the tires a little bit. Right, it looks like Perry is going to pass here. I'm not even going to go defensive. I'll just let him by. We'll also not even use our ERS. There we go. Because at, at this moment of time, I'm not battling Perry. I'm battling my tires. So it's best to just focus on that. Look how much wear we're getting. Our tires aren't even that hot. They're not even close to overheating. And yet they're just wearing so quickly. Tire dig is just ridiculous around here. Honestly, at this moment of time, I actually think points is as good as, uh, as, as got right now. Because one thing I have been concentrating on is Ocon, but I actually haven't even concentrated on Magnussen. Magnussen's eight seconds behind us. So even if we start to lose a lot of time, we just let Ocon by and we finish P6. But what's going on at the back? There's a huge train. And there's an Alpha and Male losing that train. I'm guessing it was Joe because Bottas was near us for a long time. I mean, Sainz is kind of getting it, uh, like getting through the pack, but not really. Thank God we didn't pit with him because that's where we would be right now. All right, 53% on the rear. So I think we're good in terms of tires. Sebastian Vettel, safety car. That would have been a perfect safety car. Because we could have pit for sauce and probably still come out in the points. Come on, how is that not a safety car? I mean... The track's just not that much. It's not that wide. That should be a safety car. We're at 64% now. We've got two laps to go. And Ocon is roughly about two seconds behind us. He'd have to gain a second per lap in order to pass us. Not necessarily, actually, now that I think about it. He would just need to gain a second on this lap. Which can be easily done as my tyres are starting to die. Because if he gets within a second, then DRS is his. My tyres are starting to die. He's 1.2 behind us. He could actually do this. Come on, we just need good exits. That's all we need for this lap, and we've got P5 secured. We're at 70%. Should be fine. It is going to cost us a grip, though. He's in DRS, and our tires have hit a cliff. So, I'm going to need the second sector of my life here. Because I'm stronger than him in the third sector. But the closer he is to me on that back straight, the harder it's going to be to defend. Oh, what an exit. What an exit. That might have just done it, you know. Oh, Charles Leclerc. Taking on the victory in the further race. As Sergio Perez taking the fastest a lap. And us, Nick the Freeze. Our first race, not only points, but it's big points. P5, let's go. You know what? I wasn't actually expecting to get this position. This was a really, really good race, especially since Bahrain is one of my weaker tracks. So, yeah, Nick the Freeze. It's over to you, man. Uh, let's see if you can beat P5 in Bahrain. I don't think that's happening, but you never know. A miracle could happen. Could get a magical safety car or something. But yeah, guys, this is going to be it for this video. Make sure to smash the like button and I'll catch you guys in my next one.